Hello, my name is Thomas and today I'm going to do a shout out. Is that how you call it? I'm going to show you eight of uh, eight different YouTube photography channels that I find super interesting and inspiring and I'm following them since a long time. There will be some great uh, channels with a lot of subscribers but also some small ones. So I hope that maybe you don't know them all yourself by now already. So yeah, without further ado, let's just start with number one of these channels. And uh, it's a channel I really, really love and I can just recommend. Uh, it's uh, Willem Verbeek. He's a photographer, a very young guy, uh, inspiring, very talented and successful photographer based in uh, the US. And he does a channel about mainly about analog photography, all sorts of stuff, how to develop film, what sort of camera to start analog photography with but also he does a lot of vlog style things like he takes you on a journey when he does a, a trip to take photos uh, yeah and in he, his results are just awesome so uh, the video I'm picking today I'm also going to show you one video that I really like in that uh, particular channel and one of the Willem Fabek videos that I really love 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 it's called I don't want to get it wrong a snowy day of film photography and thoughts on being burnt out. So he also touches some more yeah, personal aspects, uh, this mentioning of burnout or whatever, uh, referring to those times where you maybe don't find the inspiration or the power to proceed with your photography and how to overcome that. And uh, yeah, super interesting to watch. And also there are a few photos in that particular video that I truly absolutely love. Drop that gorgeous. So yeah, Willem Fabek, that is number one. Number two, also a pretty big channel, Kyle McDougall. He also takes you a lot on vlog style journeys, uh, traveling to places and showing how he takes photos there. And then yeah, also showing you the results. I love that sort of um, Videos. I find them always very, very inspiring and also his photography can, yeah, some of his photos I find just awesome. So I'm, I'm a big, big fan. He also does some review stuff. Yeah, check out his channel as well, Cal McDougall. As uh, I put all the links in the, uh, in the description below. Number three, that's a very small channel. We now travel to New Zealand and uh, yeah, it's your channel, Tony McKeek. I really love your channel. I wouldn't never know it if you wouldn't have followed my channel because you know how it is if you've got a very small channel, the YouTube algorithm is not really pushing you in the search results. So I'm very happy to uh, got to know the, uh, this channel. It's also about photography, gorgeous uh, landscape and sometimes also sort of Lost Places photography in New Zealand and uh, the style of the videos makes me really feel like I'm there. So awesome, very relaxed in a way, um, just beautiful to watch. Tony McKeek. Number four, Solem. That's I think she's located in the Caribbean Sea somewhere. And uh, she also got into analog photography. It's a very small channel. Unfortunately, not a lot of videos to watch there, but nonetheless, very, very great. The video that I really enjoyed the most, it's called My First Roll of Film, uh, taken with a Praktika MTL3 on Kodak Ultramax 400 film. And in that video, Solan just, you know, as what the title says, it's it's her first roll of film and he, she takes us on a journey, shows all the results and discusses them. Uh, yeah, super interesting to watch. Um, and she's got a really good eye for photography just as well. So yeah. then we've got a bigger channel again. Um, Samuel L. Street Life is the channel name. He's based in Hamburg in uh, northern Germany. And as the name already says, uh, Samuel Lintau, he's sort of into street photography a lot. He loves to travel places, take the camera. And uh, yeah, street photography is something that I personally don't really do. I'm not into that, but I find it super interesting to watch how others do it. Um, yeah, that's the beauty of photography. There are so, so many different uh, variations in what you can do and what you shoot and what your shooting style is. So I always love to watch also the stuff that I personally do not do. 
And apart from the interesting street photography videos, there's also a ton of information for camera owners or sort of reviews or tips and tricks and hints. Uh, so yeah, I think Samuel of Street Life is a channel also worth checking out and very entertaining and informative. Then number six, um, am I right? Oh, I forgot to mention the video uh, in, uh, in Samuel Lintaro's uh, channel that I really like the most and that's called Deep Into The Night, Tokyo Street Photography together with Lukas Paltka. So there are two guys roaming around the streets in uh, Tokyo and it's a really, really cool, entertaining video to watch. Number six, one shot World War II explosives factory is the video I like most and the channel it's Analog Insights. These are three guys based around Würzburg in southern Germany and they do a lot of review stuff. Again, only analog photography. And this video is about that they travel to a lost place in a forest, deep in a forest somewhere in Germany and they bring a huge large format camera to get a gorgeous uh, yeah, super complex shot. Um, it's also a sort of photography I never do. I never use these huge cameras, but it's just super cool to watch it. Almost, it's more like light painting than what I normally do as a photography, you know, snapping around very quickly. Gorgeous channel, check them out. Analog Insights. That brings me to number seven, and that's another small emerging channel. Um, Jason Stewart Photography, based in uh, America, also a lot of landscape photography there, some sort of vlog style videos, a lot of tutorial style videos, and also a lot of information if you're, you're brand new to photography that really covers the basics. So uh, definitely worth to check out. The video that I personally found the most inspiring so far, it's called Preparing for photographing the great outdoors and in that video Jason takes us out on a trip to take one special landscape shot and he shows all the preparation up front like checking out the place on Google finding the perfect time to travel there the perfect spot where to park the car where exactly to hike and to go with the camera to get the shot all this he planned before doing the actual shot you know just on the computer on Google also something I personally never do I'm completely clueless and planless. I just take my camera and drop into some place and then I take a photo, but maybe I'm missing the great opportunities and I also should do some more planning ahead sometimes. So yeah, super interesting to watch. Jason Stewart photography. And that brings me to the last channel I want to shout out today. Uh, Niels Camp Creative, uh, based in Gouda in the Netherlands, the city of cheese. <laughs> and uh, he's uh, running a very, yeah, how shall I say it, a very lively, entertaining sort of channel about photography, also a lot about street photography, reviewing some camera stuff. Um, and the video that I like the most, it's uh, about the Urban Photo Race 2020 in Utrecht. So there was a small rally that uh, some local guys organized where everyone could enter who had a camera and then they got some tasks, you know, to run around the city, find some motives. And in the evening they had to, yeah, could enter a small contest or something. Uh, very entertaining also the idea of the street race and also very cool to follow Niels uh, how he did it um, almost yeah it, it's again something that makes me feel like I've been there and uh, when COVID stuff is over and we have more of these uh, yeah events maybe I also want to do something like that once so Niels Camp Creative from the Netherlands that's number eight of the inspiring YouTube channels that I wanted to mention to you today so yeah, that's it for today. As you can see, I already have my next camera review coming up. This is the little baby Nikon EM. I got this camera from a friend and I'm super excited to shoot it. I'm an old Nikonian since 1991. And since we've got mirrorless cameras, I don't use Nikon anymore. So this really brings back a lot, uh, back a lot of old memories just as well. Uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you found this interesting and useful in any way. Um, if you did so, leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet, uh, hit the small bell button to get a notification when I upload my next video. So I hope to see you soon. Thanks and bye.